Welcome to Fukaira channel. The year I was born, it was so common in the Arabic world that girls get circumcised. And luckily, I was uh, lucky enough that my mother was thinking in an advanced way and she refused the circumcision. So I didn't have any problems uh, about this. After four years, my brother was born and my mother thought that he must be circumcised. He was her first son and she didn't know like what to do, who to hire to do this. So she kept postponing, postponing until my brother was about five or six years old. And then she had to decide to do it. And at the time we were in Upper Egypt, so she brought someone and this man did the circumcision to my brother. Of course he was screaming, but I looked around and I found that everyone in the family is like, they're not bothered at all. And also in such occasion, there are some songs that they sing related to this. I'll try to translate them. <laughs> for, uh, for example, the first one is um, a mother of the circumcised boy spread the salt seven times uh, you will, it will just be like beaten once but you will not die and we will make you a chick soup and those are the lyrics of the song and um, so I found that everyone is like dealing with it normally so I thought it's okay and they told me that he will be fine and he did after six years, my mother delivered my second brother. It was in Saudi Arabia, in a Saudi hospital. And she was very pleased because uh, the doctor, after the delivery, he immediately circumcised my brother. So she didn't have to worry about it at all. And many, many years passed. And uh, in the 90s, they started like campaigns against circumcision of girls and or females. And uh, it was big campaigns. But for me, it was like, I thought, I already know this uh, since long time. I know it's wrong. So they are just, I think they should have started many, many years ago, not now. Uh, I After I finished, I graduated, I started working and after many years I was working in a company in Sharm Sheikh and my manager, she was Polish, uh, from Poland. So she just delivered a baby boy and she came back to Egypt after the delivery, she delivered in Poland and she came back. and. She, we, in this advertising company, I was the graphic designer, she was the manager, but we all were in the same space, so there were not like offices or closed doors or anything. So she had a client who was a gynecologist and uh, he offered her to make for him advertisement in the magazine for free and he can do for her the circumcision of her son for free, but she refused. Then he told her, okay, maybe you can give me like 50% discount and then I can do it for, <laughs> for free. And she also refused. After the client left, I went to her and told her, how come you refuse such a good offer? Like, he, it's really good. He's a professional doctor. He will do it in the right way. And how come? Then she told me that I will not do it. <laughs> and then I thought that she's just saying this because... Um, she doesn't want to do it because he's uh, maybe just born recently and maybe she will wait a bit. I told her, by the way, you must know that you should do it as early as possible because you will just, you don't need to worry about it. He will not remember it. And like, I was trying to <laughs> tell her from my experience or from my mother's experience. And she told me, I will not do it now. I will not do it later. And I was so shocked. I said, how come you will just let him be like this? And I really didn't know what like this is, but I just thought that this is something any responsible mother should do for her son. And she just doesn't want to do it. 
And um, then she told me something. She said, I believe that God will not create all boys with something extra that need to be cut. And then I was so shocked. I, I almost felt dizzy because she just shaked the ground under me because I, I believed in this so much. Uh, I mean, yes, we have lots of campaigns against female circumcision, but we have nothing against boys' circumcision. So I just thought it's, it's not even something to think about. And I just didn't know what to say. I went home, I started searching, and I found that there are actually communities the, and societies and countries, whole countries, that they just don't do circumcision for the males. And I tra started searching, to, okay, how does the countries that are doing this, and they are doing it legally and by doctors, how they are doing this. And then I found that they are actually defending and saying that this is good and it uh, it's um, it uh, make you it prevent infections and inflammations and sexual diseases and so I was like totally confused. I didn't know what is right and what is wrong. Is it possible that God um, or humans are created with something that need to be cut? Or uh, I, I just, I was totally, I really, I don't know if you have experience about this, if you ever thought about it, if you have an opinion about it, please leave it in the comment below.